My name is Clinton Sender. I'm a research chemist with Erdic Searle. Out here behind me, we have the RAFT project, which is rapid algae flotation techniques running. We're looking to concentrate and rapidly float algae up to the surface for removal and or destruction. If you're going to be treating algae, it's a lot easier not to treat the water with it. So concentrating algae onto the surface makes it more visible, makes it more accessible, and far easier to remove in a cost-effective manner. So whether that's skimming off and then dewatering post-processing or just chemically treating the cyanobacteria on the surface. There is a place for, for cyanobacteria in the environment, just like anything else that, uh, that evolves and develops in its ecosystem. The problem is the overabundance of its food source. With an overabundance of food source, they grow very rapidly and exponentially. And then as soon as that food source is gone, they die, and that's part of the problem. A dead cyanobacteria cell still contains toxins, and those toxins can then be released into the environment and they become extracellular. In addition to that, there is also the massive amount of, of biomass formed from these cells that then die off are food for anaerobic bacteria that absorb and, and destroy the oxygen. And then on top of that, uh, an additional problem is the appearance. If you've seen a, a harmful algal bloom in action, it's, it's unappealing. It's not something that you want to swim in or you want to touch or even look at, and in some cases smell. They can be very odorous. In a perfect world, we could reduce their supply of nutrients, reduce their food source. Uh, unfortunately, that's a lot easier said than done. The best thing we can do is rapid detection, rapid and early detection, and then we can move in and either uh, destroy or harvest the algae for some other purpose. And in doing so, we need to have that algae concentrated for, for e efficacy. It takes a lot of energy to move water and carry water around. So getting as little water as possible when we are trying to scoop up or, or treat the algae is the, the best scenario. And that's what we're trying to do here is get all of that algae on the surface where it's easy to reach and easy to treat or destroy. So one of the benefits of this treatment is due to its electrostatic properties, it is selective towards cyanobacteria over the green algae. It's capable of targeting and removing or at least concentrating the cyanobacteria with minimal effect on the green algae itself. Just getting the cyanobacteria to coagulate is only one part of the process. The cyanobacteria are dispersed throughout an entire water column, depending on the lake, you could talk anywhere between four to eight feet deep. Just getting them to coagulate and collect isn't going to do you much good. You still have to collect it all out of the water somehow. That's where microbubbles and nanobubbles come in. Introducing micro and nanobubbles is the method in which you can cause the algae to rapidly float to the surface so that you can collect it off or destroy it easily. What's really amazing with this treatment is that once on the surface, these bubbles are going to stay very stable. And the, you think a, a boat driving by creating a wake or wind causing chop in the water. Uh, once the bubbles are absorbed to this, this polymer and encased cyanobacteria, they tend to stay stable and they won't redisperse into the water. They will remain floating even if submerged and they will come back up to the surface. So you have a, a decent amount of time to do your collection or destruction of the algae uh, rather than causing them to redisperse and waste all your effort.